Hello children and young people and welcome to this month's video where I'm going to be talking to you about how you can avoid getting so annoyed. So if you find that other people's actions and behaviour end up influencing how you feel, then just keep on watching. there's a lot to be getting annoyed about. I've been speaking to some young people who are getting particularly frustrated with other young people in their school not following the rules and instructions that are in place around COVID-19 and their annoyance is really at the risks that that's placing other people under and so they're getting particularly frustrated at having to deal and share their space with these people that are behaving in a really annoying fashion so i've got three tips for you today to help you reduce your feelings of being annoyed Last month we talked about how holding a grudge is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Well, getting annoyed is kind of the same because the only person that ends up feeling bad is you. And the person that you're annoyed at quite possibly doesn't know and certainly doesn't care. So it's unhealthy, like it's not helpful for anybody. So I'm gonna give you three ways in which you can avoid indulging yourself in the feeling of being annoyed and instead just merrily move on and get on with living your best life. So number one is when you get annoyed with someone, it's normally because you're making some kind of a judgment. Now I'm not saying that you're being judgmental, I mean, maybe you are, but the likelihood is, is that you've noticed something that someone is doing or a way in which they are behaving that doesn't match up with the standards that you have for yourself. Like there is a mismatch. They're saying or doing one thing and it's causing you to go, hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that. So when this happens, one of the things that you can do to get yourself past the feeling of being annoyed about it is to be proud of yourself for having different standards to the ones that they have. If you spot someone acting in an unfavorable or unpleasant way, you've just spotted that that is a standard that you do not fall to. You are better than that. And actually, there are some feelings in yourself that you can tap into around pride. You can feel proud of yourself for knowing better, for being better and for doing better. And giving yourself a little pat on the back, a little tap on the shoulder there, a little rub and a well done, is certainly a much better feeling to tap into than the feeling of being annoyed. Number two thing you can do is you can make some conscious decision as a result of having a little chat with yourself about why it is that you're giving this person so much of your energy. Like your energy is precious. And I don't mean your spiritual energy. I mean like the literal energy you need to get up and move throughout the day. When we're feeling emotions, they take up energy. And some of those high powered ones like anger and annoyance, they use up a lot of energy. Have you ever felt really exhausted after getting really angry with someone? It's because you just burnt through a ton of calories. So if your energy is important to you and you wanna use it for yourself to do the things that make you happy in life, why are you gonna spend it on someone that is just annoying? That's a complete waste of your energy and you could definitely be spending it on better things. If you want to be using your energy for stuff that fulfills you and makes you feel good and happy in your life, just make a decision to stop spending your thinking, your energy, your emotions and your efforts into people that just don't deserve it. And the third thing you can do to prevent yourself from becoming annoyed and spending way too much time in that bad feeling is to remind yourself that the silly decisions and bad choices that other people make is none of your business. It's entirely on them and you're gonna let them learn in their own way and just not get yourself at all involved in it. And that includes allowing yourself to be annoyed by it. It is none of your business unless 
they are saying or doing something that directly affects you, in which case take the appropriate action, report it, do something sensible about it. But if it's not affecting you, then it's just none of your business. You know, people think stuff about you all day and some of it might not be good stuff, but you don't want to know about that because you're too busy living your best life. So instead of involving yourself in what other people are saying, thinking, doing, behaving and all of that jazz, remember that that stuff is nothing to do with you. You just need to focus on what you're doing and the life that you're living and making that the best that it can possibly be. And anything that anyone else is doing that is going to cause a problem for them in the long run, that's on them. Anything they do that annoys you is just none of your business. So those are my three top tips for reducing the feelings of getting annoyed and getting yourself stuck in a bad state when you really did not need to. If you found something in this video either useful, interesting or helpful to you in some way, shape or form, then you can go ahead and click the red subscribe button, hit the notifications bell and leave me a comment in the comments box down below if you found any particular tactics or strategies to prevent you from becoming annoyed when you really didn't need to be. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and listening and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!